Good morning students. <clears throat> Today we are going to cover the second part of the chapter 44 direct and indirect speech. This would be the second part of this chapter. In the first part we have covered direct and indirect speech and we saw what is direct speech and what is indirect speech. Direct speech is the actual words of the speaker and those words must be in double quote. And then we did study indirect speech. Indirect speech we studied that. Indirect speech is that reporting speech. And these are not actual words of the speaker but another speaker quotes the actual words of the speaker and reports in his own word. So that is called indirect speech. And also we saw in the speech there are two principles. The principal clause and subordinate clause. That means two clause in the direct and indirect speech. And then we saw the rule number first for the change of the pronouns. Now we are going to head with the second rule for the change of tenses so what does it mean it means whenever we are heading with direct speech to make indirect speech from the direct speech we have to change the tense for example in the present simple tense we see here direct speech he said I am unwell so this is simple present and simple present will become simple past so this is the meaning of the change of tense okay tense is changed here here is I am unwell here it will be converted into simple past he was unwell so two things in indirect i told you to add one is the comma the or the double quote must be removed instead of that we have to add word that and then we have to change the pronoun if the pronoun is i the first person we have to make or we have to convert it into third person he or she okay so like this it will be changed so these things we are going to study a present continue becomes a past continuous in the same way direct speech he said my master is writing letter so it will be written like this he said that his master was writing letters. A present perfect becomes a past perfect. Direct. He said that he said, comma, inverted comma star, I have passed the examination. Full stop, double quote close. In direct, he said that he had passed the examination. Note, the shell of the future tense is changed into should. The will of the future tense is changed into would or should. So these things you must know. The third rule tells us the rules for the change of adverbs or words indicating time or place and usually we know that the words which are indicating time or place are called adverbs okay and now we are going to head with in reporting a speech in indirect narration words showing nearness are generally changed into words showing distance so now we are going to see those words now 
representing the time now and it will become or it becomes then okay the past time then now and then these two words indicating time this that these two words are indicating place okay this and that the things okay about the things nearness or farness okay nearness telling about nearness of the things this or that these will become those here will become there these two words are indicating about the place here and there okay here and there hither theater hence tens thus so i go before come will become go not always but today will become that day or oh. next one tonight becomes that night tomorrow becomes the next day yesterday becomes the previous day last night will become before the previous night okay it will become previous night next week become the next week okay the following week that is so in this way we can change our adverbs so these tenses are sentences are only examples next one we will see the universal truth okay in universal truth the reporting speech will not be changed okay that will remain as in the present so here two things we want to know about universal truth one is the sentences in the reporting speech or in indirect speech will not be changed if there is a universal truth or habitual action or effect habits of the person or universal truth daily routine these will not be changed in reporting speech or indirect speech so example direct the man said god is everywhere indirect the man said that god is everywhere okay it's coming the same so next one forms of tenses so first one is in the declarative or assertive sentence or this is also called statement in the declarative or in, in the assertive form of the sentence the reporting verb say or tell does not need any change they will be as it is because say or tell indicates the declarative or assertive or the statement form of the sentence said often can be changed into told if it is followed by an object okay object must be there if we have to convert into indirect sentence or indirect speech so note the following examples of other words for say he said to me thank you or in indirect he thanked me direct he said i think he is lazy in direct i thought him to be lazy so in this way we have to make indirect from the direct and also you must learn these things rules regulations